Sean Berrigan. Jason Speed Snyder's Todd Bull wears your next row. And then rounding out the field, looks like it's uh, Nick Lakes in the 17L. And it looks like 27 to Loggins did not make the call. That moves the outside row up. We're green. It's going to be Berrigan moving down into turn number one. Todd Bullware jumping into second. Stopak back to third. Nick Lakes from seventh up to fourth right now. Justin Sackett rounding out that top five. Jason Speed Snyder's right there knocking on the back door though. But right now it's all Sean Berrigan up front. He's having one hell of a battle. Sean Berrigan with the race lead. Todd Bowler in second. And that is a slow pass. But here comes excuse me, Nick Lakes to the inside. He's going to have that third spot. Push his back back fourth and then Justin second and then Jason Schneiders but meanwhile out in front is Sean Berrigan in that 88 car with Todd Bowler trying to run down. Sean Berrigan and Todd Bowler putting on a show right now. Todd Bowler probably one of the fastest cars last week out here. Didn't have a good run in the feature but look at him trying to run down Sean Berrigan now out front. Berrigan running a fast smooth clean line and Bowler looking everywhere high low middle just trying to close that gap. But then up there in third, I do believe that's uh, Nick Lakes already all the way up into third. That's a uh, welcome back, Nick Lakes, from retirement. Sean Berrigan's been leading to, since the drop of the green, but Todd Bullware is reeling him in. They're going to come down to see two laps to go. Does Bullware have enough time to catch Berrigan? Big distance between Bullware and third place Nick Lakes. Rodney Stopak still sitting in a fourth. Battles off the fifth between Sackett and Snyders right now. But here we go as the white flag comes out. Bullware, he's right there. Does he have enough time to maybe catch him into three and four? He slides it through one and two. And doesn't appear he's going to have it as Berrigan's going to go through three and four. Sean Berrigan wins heat number one. Todd Bullware is going to be second. Nick Lakes is going to sit third. Rodney Stopak goes way high. Second, Snyder's go by a second. It'll be four, Snyder's fifth. Bad break for the one RS of Rodney Stopak. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Inside of row number three, the 48 of Bob Moore, and on the outside of him, the 02 junior of Chris Mills. Hey, we got the PA back. Awesome. And round out the field, the 25 rookie, the racer, Stefan. And by starting this heat race, folks, your 2019 track champ is going to be Chris Mills. Three is out for a rookie down here in turn one. Then April right on his back bumper, this Matheson. Brewer. Brewer now goes sailing by Matheson for third. Catches all the way up to 10 April. Now it's going to be trying to go three wide to the end of the road. And that's it. No call, but right now it's all Darren Roke. Oh, Chris Mills getting a little squirrely. He's going to fall all the way back to the back. But meanwhile, up front, Darren Roke putting up a battle here with the chance today to win the number four. Back and forth that last lap. But Denable's going to capitalize. He's going to be the race lead. Darren Roke in second. Carl Brunor in third, Jim Matson in fourth. That's going to be Bob Moore, Ricky the Racer, Stefan. A little bit of contact, Bob Moore, and then Chris Mills. All the one. Chaz and April in the 20 with a two and a half car length lead over the 47 of Darren Roki. And then Carl Brewer, Jim Matson, Bob Moore, Ricky Stefan, and Chris Mills. Right now, Chaz and April, you're here. Darren Roki second, Carl Brewer third. The MAU Jim Matheson fourth. And Bob Moore's around out the top five. Ricky the racer stepping now, trying to apply pressure on Moore that fifth place spot, but doesn't seem to be the top five. But it's all behind Chad Tenabel. Tenabel walking away from the heat. Yeah, got out front there. The 20 at Tenabel, been running really hard lately, trying to make his way through. 
But out front, those two have been able to have the 47 rookie, the 13 of Carl Brewer, and the immediate Jim Matheson. And here comes Bobby Moore. He got two of the, three of the fastest guys at our racetrack in the back. That's not common. sail it down through three and four. He is going to be our challenge. Chad Tenable is going to win he, the final heat race. Darren Roki second, Carl Bruce third, Jim Adams fourth, and Bob Moore rounds out the top five. All right, so the caution lights go out. Next time out of four, they are going to be dropping the hammer on these compacts. Fleet Farm night, and we're going to send them this is going to be so awesome. The two fastest cars, theoretically, all year out in the front row, first and second, and they go backwards accordingly. And we're going to see somebody just, just come from nowhere to win this. I got that uh, intuition feeling. I got five bucks says that uh, Danny Vanderveen pulls it off one more time this year. We're going to find out. Ten laps. We're green with the compacts. And it's going to be Brian Long to the outside. It's just right now the 35X Connor Brown going to go to the inside. They try to go three wide. Nothing doing. Right now it's Brian Long in the lead. Danny Vanderveen second. Here comes Austin Honeycutt to third. Connor Brown now fourth. Doug Vermillion rounding out that top five with Taylor Brown right on the outside. Knocking on that door. Knock, knock, knock. Vermil oh, Vanderveen to the inside of Brown. He tried making a move. Could not quite get it done. And the caution is out. Caution is out. Oh, I guess the signboard says caution's out, but we're staying green. Confuse the announcer, why don't you? Brian Long with the run coming now. Brian Long, just like the bridesmaid, had a lot of good runs this year, just couldn't capitalize on it. Brian Long right now running a good race. Bobble's there. Danny Vanderby's up in the high group where Brian normally runs. Danny closed the gap on him. But while they're all up there trying to do their best, here comes the 3 a Austin Honeycutt. He's up putting down a good line of dirt, probably the smoothest, fastest car on the track at this moment. But he's going into three and four, has a lot of ground to catch. Danny Vanderbilt's gonna pull underneath Brian Long at the flex, and it's still Brian Long going into one and two. Here comes Danny Vanderbilt. Danny Vanderbilt with a good run, comes up the track a little bit. Brian Long, Danny Vanderbilt going into three and four, they're door to door. Brian Long way up high. He's going to let Danny Vanderbilt go. Danny Vanderbilt, your new race leader. The 3 of Austin Honeycutt now trying to run down. Brian Long, we got a car going slow in the back straightaway, pulling on in. The 18S. As he has done all year long, he went to the high side, then drove it to the low side. Got past Brian Long. Danny Vanderbilt leads right now. The 23 of Fondo. Uh, looks like a flat tire. Looks like the 18S also calling no joy. Pulling a pit side, that's Brad Tullis. But right now, it is, oh, maybe problems also for one of the 44 cars. He's going to pull a pit side as well. But right now, up front, in lap traffic, that is Danny Vanderveen. They're going to come down and see two laps to go as he comes up on the lap car at Gage Resort. Two laps to go for one more win. Danny Vanderveen trying to work through lap traffic. It's slowing him back down. That's going to let Long have another shot at him. He's on the outside of Nav. Nav's going to push on up there. Oh, he has to go way high on the front straightaway. Long's going to try to run him back down. One lap to go. Your race leader, though, still the bridesmaid. Danny Vanderveen. Vanderveen sails it down into three and four on the outside of Cheyenne McCauley. One last time. Danny Vanderveen's going to pick up the final points win of the year. Brian Long second. Connor Brown third. Doug Vermilia fourth. And Taylor Brown rounds out your top five. Wow. Hey, I'm down here with, uh, you know, my bridesmaid, Danny Vanderveen. Pulls out another great win. He had to rough up Brian Long. He's probably mad at you. He hit him like 92 times over there. The one time when you threw a mud clot at him. But you still did it. So uh, good job on the win. Uh, congratulations on everything you've done this year. Uh, I think you did a heck of a job all year.
You got anyone to thank? And don't say the babysitter. Um, all my fans, my sponsors, and the babysitter. Yeah! All right, Danny. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. Danny Vanderveen, ladies and gentlemen.